How's it going everybody in the Jason Nation? My name is Jason and welcome to a special kind of update video type thing for What If It and Mega. This is not an episode of What If It and Mega, so the thumbnail might slightly mislead some people, um, but it shouldn't because it, I, my character is on the thumbnail instead of a Pokemon. And if you read the text, it says, where is What If It and Mega? And that is exactly what this video regards. Now, there's a lot of questions that people have had for me over the last couple of weeks and those are all just regarding where is What If It and Mega? What happened to it? And if I've stopped the series or something? Because uh, a lot of people really enjoyed the idea, and I love the idea. It's one of the ri most original ideas I've had so far. Now, needless to say, it wasn't actually original because, I, as I previously mentioned, there's another YouTuber who does a similar series, but um, it's I, I should have said it's original, but it's definitely something that I wanted to do, and I didn't know existed until some point, like a couple months ago, so or a couple weeks ago, excuse me. Um, so I just kind of figured, you know, it's whatever. Uh, there's no big deal behind it. But anyway, what I wanted to mainly focus on in this video, I want to make this kind of quick and I want to make this short so you guys understand what's been going on with What If It Can Mega and so you can what to expect from it basically from this point onwards. So first of all, the big question is, when is What If It Can Mega returning and has it stopped? So it's not stopped by any means. Um, and it's not, it's definitely not uh, going to stop anytime soon either. Me and Mike really do enjoy making this series for you guys because it's something that allows us the creative, no, the creative ability or creatability um, to be able to expand our thoughts on currently what Pokemon is and make it something that's even better. Even though it's just slightly modifying some Pokemon, it's still nice to imagine that this could one day happen. So, What If It Mega is definitely a series that's not going anywhere, and you can expect it to be um, when it comes back better than ever. Now. Before I tell you guys when it is coming back, there's a couple other things that I want to explain. Basically, what we're going to be doing definitely with this series is we're going to be making this a every other week type of thing. So, to simply put it, just because I want this particular show to be something different than the rest of the content on my channel, um, I'm going to try and make it so that I spend an extra week into editing it and putting it all together, you know, um, so that way it comes out a lot better and it doesn't seem as rushed. This way, like I said, I can put more time into the creation of the video as a whole, which does include, you know, editing, researching for our facts and all that, writing out the episode, because uh, all the episodes I do write, all oh, me and Mike, that we write them out, um, so it is scripted. I will put that on the table because not a lot of people know that it is scripted but it's only just to make sure that the video doesn't go off topic so that way we have planned what we want to say and how we want to make the presentation and now with this being said this way i can make each episode be better than the last one and that leads me on to the next topic i want to talk about here what can you expect from what if it can mega uh the one thing that is very 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 highly stressed that i will continue to tell everybody each week week after week because there's always new people joining into the channel and some people don't know this more viewer interaction. Viewer interaction is the biggest thing that I want to achieve in this series aside from making you guys entertained from the choices that we pick. But here's where it gets interesting. Now I want to introduce something that me and uh, Mike have been talking about for the last couple of weeks and we really want to put it into full force here. Now after the next episode of What If It Can Mega, I have not told anybody what it is yet but I will tell you that it's going to be something very very interesting and it's a legendary Pokemon. That's as much as I'll tell you. But after this, all poke or all episodes of What If It Can Mega are all going to be done from you guys suggesting it in the comments. So let's say as an example, if you have a suggestion for a Pokemon that you want uh, us to do one week, as an example, you'll, you'll leave a comment just saying Arcanine uh, as an example. Um, but if you want to go a step further and even say uh, what you want in terms of design changes and the way you might want it to look and yada yada yada, then feel free to also leave that in the comments. Because you know, if I like the idea, if you might like the idea, we'll use it. It's really that simple. And you know, sometimes you might be like, well, you know, they, the design's up to them and all that stuff. But I'm telling you guys right now, if you have a damn good idea, um, it doesn't have to be anything spectacular. If it's something that we, if it's better than something that we can come up with, then we'll definitely use it. Because some people have some really interesting ideas, and there's one that's coming up. I'm not going to reveal who made the comment or anything like that but i will tell you that it is someone who suggested this on week one and they had a bunch of really good suggestions but it's not that this upcoming one it's the one after so episode four will be when we start kicking in the viewer suggestion thing so if you guys want to see you know like your favorite pokemon on this series and completely transformed as if it did not have a mega before well it's gonna now and you basically just give us you know details on how you think it should look um if you want to this is all optional you can leave a comment just saying what pokemon you want to see next you don't have to put any input on it if you don't want to but you can you can say what type you want it to be changed to um you know what ability it should have uh what its design should roughly look like stuff like that that can give us a rough idea of what you're thinking what the viewer is thinking will give us that much more incentive to create these episodes because it's what you guys really want to see as opposed to what we choose we want you guys to see if you know what i mean by that so viewer interaction is a very very big thing that i want you guys to take a part in now 
I will say, like I said, what if it can mega? If we can manage to pump out like like goals on the on these episodes, I will do my best to make them uh, a weekly series. I'm not sure what the like goal will be, but if we can achieve them, I will do my best to make them a weekly series. If not, it'll stick to every two weeks, so it'll be every other Friday at 7:30 p.m. EST is when you'll see these videos going up. Of course, this video is going up a little bit later than I just said, but that's because this isn't an official episode or anything. I just wanted like like to let you guys know. Aside from that, me and Mike have literally just been uh, kind of busy. Well, I've been really busy. Uh, uh, especially with finals and all that. I've been having to finish up my finals in school and all that. And it's really stressful with summers here, so I'm, I'm good to go now. Mike's been doing the same thing. He's been on summer for a little uh, little while now. But the biggest thing that was kind of holding us back for a little while was our designer. She was extremely busy with college, and I understand that. That's completely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and obviously, I'm not selfish, so I'm not going to be like, no, you have to work on our designs before you can do your, your school work. Because that's not how it works. That's why the series kind of uh, went on a hiatus, um, to say the least. But it is coming back. We've got the designs ready for the next couple, so it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, so we're pretty much set from this point. I just want to let you guys know for those who were fans of this series and were really, really interested in seeing what we were going to do with this series. Well, now I just want to let you guys know that there's going to be a lot of stuff coming to this series. And I, again, I can't uh, stress this fact enough. If you guys want to have your voice heard, want to have your suggestions made come to life, leave it yourself a comment or leave myself a comment. Leave me a comment. That's what I'm trying to say. And let me know what you're thinking because we can make it happen. We can honestly make it happen and it's just as easy as leaving a comment that'll take you a minute. So if you want to do that, I really, really appreciate it. And hopefully you guys are excited for the return of What If It Can Mega. Unfortunately, Mike couldn't join me, but I figured it'd be easier if I just explained it this way because then that way there's no cutting people off and whatever. And it's just easier. It's easier if I just did this. But nevertheless, me and Mike are really hyped to bring back this series and I hope you guys are too. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. There's no specific like or anything like that. But if you guys just want to support the video, that's a great way to do it. It helps other people find the series and maybe they can even enjoy it too. But anyway, guys, my name is Jason. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next time. Peace. Call me Bowser. Yeah. Hit him on a float like a boss, bitch. It's inevitable that you step into my level, then you get to end up leaving with a loss, bitch. Flying in the sand, I crossed it. Grind it till I'm exhausted. Never gonna put the mic down, I'm here right now, so what you want?